Yes. Good afternoon, Franklin Key Club. My name is Amelia Chen, and I'm running to be your 2012-2013 president. For those of you who have been around for at least a year, you probably already know how I'm going to start my Key Club story. Key Club has been in my family since I was a wee little lassie in elementary school. When I was in sixth grade, my sister was president of Franklin Key Club, and she once stood where I am standing today. There were often key clubbers at my house decorating recycling boxes, sorting recycling, having board meetings, and doing much more. Everyone was always laughing and having fun, and it made me wish that I was old enough to join my sister and her friends and do whatever they were doing. So then, my cousin Conway, my brother Dorian, and I, we vowed to join Key Club when we entered high school. Now I stand your current vice president and member of three years, loving every moment I spend with this club. Next year, I plan a charter builders club to, or to energize club meetings and to diversify Key Club. Regarding a builders club, Conway and I will be working our hardest to charter one at Toby Johnson Middle School and to shape those middle school kids into future leaders. To make Key Club meetings more interactive, I plan to have icebreakers at the beginning of most meetings and to start a love box. I want our members to feel more welcome and a part of this large Key Club family, and I want to get to know each one of you because you, the members, are the foundation to this club. To make Key Club more diverse, I plan to better advertise Key Club to freshmen. As a current new crew leader, and probably one next year, I will encourage freshmen to join Key Club and I will ask my fellow leaders to do the same. Also, charting a builders club will greatly influence the members that will join Key Club next year because they will, they will already have experience with the K family. As vice president, one of my duties was to assist all the officers with uh, whatever they needed help with, especially the president. So I looked over Ashley's budgets. I got forms to sign from the, I got Mr. Kilby to sign forms she needed me to get to him. I revised Alvin's newsletters. I looked over Lauren's MRF and I edited her snapshot. I helped Betty make PowerPoints, lead meetings, and write letters for fundraisers. And with this vice president experience, I believe I am ready to take on the challenge as president. Not only am I extremely committed to this club, but I would be willing to greatly reduce the amount of time I spent on the internet looking at cats to improve this club. <laughs> With Betty as my mentor, I was molded to the best Vice Betty I could be, and I hope I will be elected to the position to have my own Vice Amelia. Key Club has been a very important part of my life since elementary school, and I honestly believe you Key Clubbers are my ohana, and that Key Club is one of the greatest things in my life. Even though I've hit some rough patches, through this term, especially with procrastinating on work that, I've, that I was delegated, I've learned to better prioritize my time and to get my work done. If I am elected president, I cannot promise that next year will be 100% smooth sailing, but with my experience and the dedication of next year's board, we will make it top priority for Franklin Key Club to achieve optimum function, as Conley would say. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> We have one minute and 35 seconds. Um, do you deserve Key Club or does Key Club deserve you? It's a very hard question considering that I am the queen, but <laughs> <laughs> I think I deserve Key Club because Key Club is just so amazing and great, and I am just blessed to be part of it. Emily? Please name the positions of the following and explain how presidency is affiliated with them. Lisa Latito Byers, Judy Whitby, Ray Whitby Brummer. <laughs> sorry, and Ray Whitby Brummer. Sorry, that was awkward. Uh, Ray Whitby Brummer, she is our regional advisor, and uh, she overlooks our entire region, which, cons which consists of 7 North, 7 South, 27 North, 27 South, 44 North, and 44 South. Uh, when we have large events, where we want to invite other divisions, we have to sign something called ERF, and she has to sign that so we can invite other divisions to our events. And who are the other two names were Judy Whitby and Lisa Lichito Byers. Okay, the second one you just named there, she is really high up there <laughs> on the district board. She's an adult. She's not a she's not a high schooler. Um, I'm not quite sure what she does, but I do know she's really crazy, and last year she danced. <laughs> and uh, Judy Whitby, I don't know, I'm not quite sure what she does either, but I know she's very, 
would be Bummer's daughter. And um, I will find out what they do and get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Any question? Spencer? How do you feel? I feel good! 